Welcome to our fourth and final Advent Marian Meditation. The theme of today's episode is the Nativity. As we end Advent and look to Christmas, we invite you to take some time away from the busyness of shopping and Christmas parties to reflect on the mystery we celebrate. God becoming flesh and dwelling among us, all through the cooperation of a young woman. Now let us prepare our hearts to reflect on God's word. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. Yet the world did not know him. But to all who receive him, who believe in his name, he gave power to become children of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us and we have seen his glory. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. The Gospel of the Lord. On Christmas Day in 1810, Mother Adele wrote the following letter to her friend Agath. My dear friend, I suggest that we meditate together on the great mystery of this Christmas Day. God, the creator of heaven and earth, did not think it demeaning to assume our human nature. For nine months, God shut himself up in the womb of a virgin What a lowering of himself. This certainly should teach us how to practice the virtue of humility. How we should strive to practice humility so as to become worthy of receiving Jesus into our hearts in the Eucharist. Mary always leads us to Jesus. She brought him forth into the world and continues to accompany his disciples as they follow Christ. We, like Jesus, are children of Mary and share in the love of Christ for his mother. For all these reasons, the church looks to Mary and prays to Mary so that the mother may bring us to her son, Jesus Christ, son of God, become son of Mary, for the salvation of the entire human race. Take some time to reflect on the following questions. Christ was born into the world through Mary. How do you bring Christ into the world like Mary did?
always leads us to Jesus. What are some ways you can grow closer to Jesus in the new year? Pray for Mary's intercession, that she may show you how to draw closer to her Son, whom she knows better than anyone. Let us pray. O Lord our God, in order to redeem us all and lead us to yourself, you sent us your beloved Son, who was made flesh and born of the Virgin Mary. Grant that we may be formed by her in the image of her Son, and help us participate in the love of Christ for his mother. Confirm the alliance we have made with her. May our devotedness extend her maternal charity on earth and promote the growth of your church, the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our reflection today was from In Fleshing the Word, a book on prayer and the Marianist spiritual journey. Copies of this book can be purchased at our online bookstore at nakmis.org. Our closing prayer was a traditional prayer of dedication to Mary that is prayed daily by Marianist brothers, sisters, and lay people throughout the world. All of us at NACMAS wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thank you for praying with us.